what's up guys welcome back today we're gonna do some clan war replays on some maxed bases we had a recent clan war with a Chinese clan I can't of course say the name but you can find them they're around 50 on the top global clan leaderboard they're a good clan they had good bases and well upgraded bases a lot of them were maxed or near maxed this base here is maxed and several in the top five were maxed or close a lot of their designs were common designs like this one this is a common clan war and cup hunting design but that doesn't mean it's not good the clan castle on this base is kinda tricky to lure so lately I've been using one golem and five wizards to break in go in there and lure the clan castle kill it and also kill the enemy BK this is going to help a lot for the setup of my raid, even though I already used a golem and a bunch of wizards. That's okay, because that's going to keep my troops from slowing down once they get into the core. I also brought a lightning spell because sometimes the bottom of this base is trapped with Teslas to mess you up when you're trying to lure the clan castle. So I, I sort of planned on that. They weren't there so the lure worked fine now I'm gonna cruise into the core this is kind of a dangerous spot to attack on this base because I'm basically ignoring the infernos I'm not gonna take them out because I just want to get the two star and I'm pretty sure I can do that by just going into the core but since I ignored the infernos they're gonna bear down on my troops and then my troops are gonna bypass the town hall and go for the enemy archer queen that cost me some crucial time well uh, the enemy Tesla's were bearing down on my troops which is a crazy 400 damage per second so any time spent in the core of a base is very crucial you want to get through that core as fast as possible the ways you do that is set up by setting up and killing the enemy are uh, barb king and clan castle that saved me a lot of time in there I only had to kill the enemy Archer Queen, which is pretty easy, as long as she's in the same compartment as you. If he had had, if he had still had uh, his clan castle alive and his Barb King alive, that raid probably would have turned out a lot different. I may have not gotten two stars. I may have not even gotten one star. So, on a max base, just the the little things, the details, and the setup is the biggest part for me. No longer can you usually just spam troops and spells and get a win. That's not always the case. I have seen people three-star this base just by um, spamming troops, but I want to find a way to three-star it every time because it is a common base and uh, sort of trying to think about that after, after that raid. Here's another extremely common base, and it is vulnerable to attacks. I've seen a lot of people three-star this with nothing special with just a, a go wipe go wee wee army because it doesn't have many compartments it's got long open compartments one compartment holds like half the buildings so troops can just run along they don't have to worry about breaking through walls and walls are usually the thing that prevents a three star so in my mind it's kind of a weak base must be okay sometimes though because a lot of people use it you see Pi here luring out the clan castle and he's going to do an interesting strategy to kill them. He's going to take care of the witches first with just barbs and then the rest is archers and skeletons. He can drop one Valkyrie. Valkyrie has great splash damage and can kill them all in three hits. That's a great move. Valkyrie has a lot of health so uh, it, it could be even better than wizards doing that, killing clan castle troops. I haven't tried it, but uh, I'm willing to try it after I saw that. That's a great move. Here we go. He's going to kill the enemy heroes with his heroes. That's another great move. Archer Queen on the Archer Queen and BK on the BK. And here go the hogs. He's broken the ring of defenses, so the hogs will go straight into the core. That's good. In the core, he has one single Inferno, but he is going to freeze it anyway. You don't always have to freeze a single Inferno. It kills hogs, but not as fast as a multi-inferno, which he also freezes. He also got some of those Teslas frozen, which is good. Those are mean. Those, <laughs> those new Teslas are mean. So he's basically through the core, got a lot of hogs left. He started out with 40-something hogs, which is good. You're going to lose some to spring traps and possibly bombs. 
bombs are devastating to hogs. One can take them out if they're not full health. So you got to be careful with your heal spells. Pi's rounding the corner. He's only got a few defenses left. Now time is going to be of the utmost importance. As long as he doesn't hit a bomb and they all die, and time is on his side, he could get a three star. There's his last heal spell. And let's see what he can do. Three quarters of the way through the base. The thing that worries me is his Barb King is dead and his Archer Queen is shooting at walls. On a maxed wall base like this, Archer Queen can't get through these walls very well. It takes her a long time. As you can see there, she's shooting at a wall for, you know, this might be 15 seconds it took her to get through one wall. That's brutal. When the heroes are in pairs, when you got a BK and an Archer Queen, you can get through the walls considerably faster. Here we go, 15 seconds. He did hit a bomb. They probably took out some of those hogs, but not all. He's got quite a few left. Let's see if he can do it. This is going to be so close. Oh man, five seconds. It's going to be too close. If that wasn't an army camp and he had just cruised through it really fast, he might have gotten the three star. That was a soul crushing 98% there. Pi's a great attacker. I know he could have done it, and that was a great attempt. Good job, man. Whether or not you got three star, that was a great raid. <laughs> so that base, like I said, is is vulnerable to three stars. Um, I see that base a lot. I think it's in this next replay as well, and it's just too big. the The compartments are too big, and there's not enough segmentation, which is something we learn about early on in our farming days segmentation keeps troops from just running around free reign in your base so something to consider about when you see high level people using a base it doesn't mean it's good I wouldn't I wouldn't copy high level people's bases unless it really looks good for your application I see people a lot copy um, you know people in the top 10 they copy their bases and uh, they're not good they're not good for lower leagues. They might not even be good for champion leagues. So <laughs> be careful. And the best is to make your own base. Even if it's not the best, just try. You might come come up with something great. So here we go. He's got a dragon in the clan castle. I like to see dragon in the clan castle. It's not very fast and it just doesn't do much. It's got a lot of health, but that's fine. Two witches and two wizards took care of it easily. So this is an easy base to set up on. You'll see Mitch broke open the corners before the raid started. That's a good idea. That helps the setup. The golems go in easily. And then a couple wizards behind. That clears these corners. Now the troops won't go sideways. Um, they might, but they won't go as far sideways because the sides are cleared. He puts the jump in the middle to get everybody to jump into the core. And most of them did. Great job, Mitch. He freezes the second inferno. And he's looking real strong. Definitely got a two-star here. This is good. He does have quite a bit of force left. Uh, he's got golems left. He's got P.E.K.K.A.s left. Heroes are good. And wizards. Still having wizards alive at this point is good. And uh, that can definitely help you get a three-star. You want to get through the core and get everything around the core done as quickly as possible. Because the last part of a three-star raid is usually just your archer queen. Maybe your king. And uh, golems and pekkas. Archer Queen helps the most because she can reach over walls, but her AI can sort of screw you up. Like right here, she starts shooting at a wall. She probably could have gotten all these buildings in this top compartment if she had just ran up the corridor there and shot them over the wall. But instead, she wasted a lot of time shooting a level 10 wall, got way down on health. And she's being shot at by this new max archer tower, which is crazy damage. Um, almost 100 damage, and that's just like a max Tesla with super long range. And you can't last long getting shot at by, by one of those new archer towers. So, great raid by Mitch. He's going to end up with like 90%. That's a bummer. I know he would have wanted the 3-star, but still a great raid. Oftentimes, the difference between 2 and 3. Three star is time, and uh, if he had a little more time and a, a slightly smarter Archer Queen, he could have gotten the three star for sure. 
Alright guys, that's it for this video, but I will upload some more epic, epic, more epic than this raids in the next episode, part two of this war. A lot of three star raids and a lot of incredible raids you haven't seen or may not have seen these strategies in a while. Stay tuned for that. See you next time. Peace.